hello again. Today I will be reviewing the February Sakura Co. Box Valentine's Bliss. I am in no way endorsed or sponsored by Sakura Co., but this box was sponsored by Finn, who requested that the box be reviewed by Tanari. So here I am, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. If you would like to sponsor a future box and pick the character that reviews it, you can do that through my wish lists, which I will link in the description. But for now, let's talk about this one. As I said, this month's box was Valentine's Bliss, it being February and all. Overall, I was rather impressed with this box, I have to say. Now, the first thing was chocolate strawberries. The most disappointing thing about these was that there was only three in the package. I think I've had something similar in another box, but they were matcha flavored chocolate. This was just milk chocolate with a freeze dried strawberry inside. Extremely simple, but also very delicious. You can't really go wrong with that. The second thing was chocolate mochi. Now these were little mochi squares. I don't really know why there's a ghost on the package. It looks like a ghost anyway. So these are little square mochi bites that are wrapped in plastic and then wrapped in rice paper inside that. The chocolate flavor is rather mild. They're good, but they don't taste very strongly of chocolate, which I suppose I've come to expect with mochi. The flavors aren't normally very strong unless they're filled with something, and these don't seem to have any filling. They're just a square of chocolate flavored mochi. So yeah, they're pretty good. Strawberry Dorayaki. I have to say, this thing far exceeded my expectations. Dorayaki are usually... It's like two pancakes stuck together with some kind of filling in the middle. And usually the filling is red bean. And at first, I couldn't tell if there was red bean in this because the strawberry flavor was so prominent which I didn't expect. I've had these before that are flavored and then the red bean just kind of browns out whatever the other flavor is supposed to be. This wasn't like that. It had strawberry jam, but just enough that it overpowered the red bean and I couldn't tell it was there until I got a little piece of bean in a mouthful. It mainly was just there to thicken up the strawberry filling. So yes, this was extremely delicious and it was one big one. I kind of wish there was more. I feel like I say that a lot. These things were interesting. Are interesting. I still have some left. I haven't finished them. Strawberry Mugi. So, these are barley, but they're candy coated. They taste a bit like cereal to me, almost. They're just like little little pellet type things that are covered in strawberry chocolate or strawberry candy coating. It tastes a bit like strawberry chocolate. Yeah, they have a very cereal flavor on the inside, but they're sweet on the outside. It's a nice balance. I like these. They're a good snack. I'd never heard of that before, so... Now this thing... I almost wanted to keep it and show it on camera, but I realized that it probably wouldn't show up very well. The most exciting thing about this Maniki Neko Senbe was the shape. All I have left is the package, which does have a cat on it, if you can see. And it was shaped like a Maniki Neko, which is those little statues of the cat with the paw up. Apparently they were said to bring good fortune in love and marriage, which I didn't know. I knew they were good luck symbol 
in general, since you sometimes see them in shops. Anyway, it was a giant rice cracker. It was as big as this package, and it was in fact shaped like a cat with the paws. But the glaze on it, see, they do a lot of rice crackers, and they have different seasonings, and they're not very good at specifying what they are, often. And this one's no exception. It didn't say, so I expected it to be one of those soy sauce type glazes, but there was something in it. Something that reminded me of katsu sauce. There was a spice in there that I'm not fond of. So unfortunately, to me, personally, it didn't taste very good. I feel like other people might enjoy it, but I kept tasting very strongly that one spice that I'm not a fan of, so that rather spoiled the experience for me. It was cute, though. This little package was Mikan Jelly. I rather like the jellies that I've had in these boxes. They're a lot softer than the, I don't know, jello cups you might get here. They're very juicy in comparison, and this one was no exception. Mikan is just a type of mandarin orange, so it had a nice orange flavor. I'm more of a fan of mandarin oranges than I am of like navel oranges. Anyway, so this was pretty nice for me. I preferred the persimmon one that I had in a previous box, but this was still good. Ogura on pie. I think I have one of these. There were two. Yes. This was more of a, more what I expected from the dorayaki, I suppose. This just had red bean filling in a little kind of buttery pastry crust. It was good. It was nothing exceptional. But it was good. The texture on these things is always very nice. Which surprises me since it's shipped all the way from Japan. But I suppose they've come up with good ways of packaging that things don't go stale. Everything I've had in either box has been extremely fresh, which I appreciate. This month they did a surprise tea selection. Now, one of them is this Ibaraki Sencha, which I'm sure I've had before. And I have it right here, right now. The thing that I do enjoy about most of the teas I've had in these boxes is that they have that very roasted flavor that I like. Even though this one's not a hojicha, it still has a very full-bodied flavor, which I appreciate. I feel like I have another one of these floating around somewhere. Now the other one, wherever it may be, ah yes, Chichi Tsukucha. I tried to look this up because since it's a surprise selection, it's random and there's no information in the book about it. This one was extremely roasty. I tried to look it up to see what what the deal with it was, but I couldn't find any information anywhere, unfortunately. This one I had, my friend made it into milk tea for me, and it was extremely good. I kind of wish I had another one. I especially like the really roasted flavored teas done as milk tea. I find that it brings out that roasted flavor very well. So this month I kind of, I went, say I had two teas, I went with milk tea for one and straight tea for the other. These teas, I suppose if it's a surprise tea selection, I'm sure I had the other one before, so perhaps this one will show up again in future, who knows. This thing, the Scenic Osaka Arare was mostly for the package. It was just a rice cracker. It was a little bit sweet. It was good, but it was tiny and there was only one. I expect there to be two for this size. And it has a little picture on it. I don't know which one it is. I wish I did. 
Apparently, there are different Osaka landmarks. So, whichever one you get is random. Yes, I can't tell which one is which. Perhaps Osaka Castle? Maybe I'm very wrong about that. But either way, it was a nice textured rice cracker. Nothing too exciting. But I think the main point is supposed to be the package. Oh, I really like these. Kinako dumplings. I'm not really sure what the dumplings are made of because it doesn't say. But lately I've become rather a fan of that Kinako soy powder. And they've made them look like little tricolor dango. They're not dango though. They're not that texture at all. They're very chewy. It's almost like eating Play-Doh. But they have that nice Kinako soy flavor in them. Which I very much enjoy now. There were, I think, four of these in here. And there's only one left because they were so good. The texture's not quite so good anymore because I opened the package. It was really soft when it was fresh. It's still pretty nice now. But yes, I want more of this Kinako stuff. I didn't know what to think of this one before I ate it. Onion sable. Oh, it still smells like onion. If you don't like onion, you'll hate this thing. The strangest thing about it is, it was not a cracker, it was a cookie. It was almost like a shortbread cookie that was onion flavored. Very mildly onion flavored, but onion's not a mild flavor. Like I said, I can still smell this on the package. I didn't know what to think about this, and I ate it, and I still didn't quite know what to make of it. It's very strange. But I still think I would eat more of them. It's... I can barely even describe it. I would probably eat more of these. But it was weird. I guess this is what sweet onion means. Oh, this was fun. I was very curious about this and I didn't try it until just now. I have it over here. Yuzu Kuzuyu. So it's a drink, but it's very thick. It's thickened with arrowroot flour and it's yuzu flavored. Now, yuzu is a citrus fruit that is native to China and Tibet, but it's cultivated all over East Asia. It tastes similar to a grapefruit, but it's used more like a lemon. For example, you don't really just eat a yuzu. The juice and the zest are used to flavor things. So, just like you wouldn't just eat a lemon, you don't just eat a yuzu. It's usually a flavoring. And this it's extremely thick. They call it a honey-like consistency. I did put in as much water as they told me to, but as it got cooler, it thickened up. It's very sticky. But it does have a very nice fragrant citrus flavor. And what it reminds me of is there's a kind of citrus tea. It's Citrus, if you get the good stuff, citrus and honey, sometimes they make it with, like, other sugar liquid. But the good stuff is citrus and honey, so it's, like, orange and I think lemon rind in honey. And you put water in it, and it makes a very good tea for when you have a cold. 
This is a thing I highly recommend if you have a cold. It's very good for your throat because of the honey, especially if you get the real good stuff with the honey in it. And that's what this tastes like. I don't know if it would be quite as effective because there is no rind in it, it's just flavor. It was a powder. I like it though. The flavor does definitely remind me of that, only a bit milder. It says it is a good drink on a cold winter's day, and I believe that. Mmm, this package is extremely small. Where is it? Osaka Chiyoko. This was one of those little chocolatey sort of things. You can't really see it because it's clear. You could see it better when the thing was in it. But it has an umbrella on it, which is supposed to be some... There's something about yellow umbrellas in Osaka. I don't know this one. But this thing is crushed millet. And it's got white chocolate in it. And I think it said raisins. I ate this a while ago. I think it did have pieces of dried fruit, so I guess raisins in it. It was pretty good. Tasted cereal-y, like a lot of this stuff tends to. It was pretty good, but it was also very small, and I expected there to be two of them. Normally when they have things this small in a box, there's two. So it feels almost like a ripoff when there's only one. I'll be honest. Red Ginger Squid Bites. I didn't know if I would like these. Not because of the squid, but because of the ginger. I didn't really know. I'm very hit or miss with ginger. But these were very good. This is fried squid with ginger flavor. And they were like little chips. Oh, there's still some in there. I thought I ate them all. That's actually kind of exciting. So they were like this. They're just little squid flakes, I guess. The ginger was mild enough that I enjoyed it. This also could have stood to have a bigger bag. Those savory snacks, you know, it's so easy just to eat them all so fast. More red ginger. Red ginger mame. I didn't like these quite as much. They have a red ginger flavored shell and there's a peanut inside. And the texture was nice because it's nice and crunchy on the outside and then there's a peanut in it. But this red ginger, I don't know, it was too much ginger for me, I think. So I didn't enjoy them quite as much as the squid. I don't know, maybe the squid was just a stronger flavor so it balanced out the ginger better. I'm not sure. Either way, those I didn't like as much. The squid was much better. I would love to tell you about these, but there is apparently a printing error in the book. While it does say that these are kombucha rice crackers, the description of them is for those little strawberry things that I showed you before, the strawberry barley things. So I couldn't tell you anything about them, unfortunately. What they're flavored like, what they're made of. Well, they're rice crackers, so they're made of rice, I assume. But I don't know what the flavoring is. They were very good, that's all I know. They were tasty, they were fluffy. Great texture on these ones. They, I guess they had some kind of tea. I am not very good with this language yet, but I can see the word for tea. And isn't kombucha tea? In any case, they were delicious. I wish I could tell you more, but alas, printing error, not my fault. And the last thing, I suppose, yes, this is the last thing. I love this. As you know, Sakura Ko always does a little collectible. And this time the collectible was a little bowl. And I know you probably can't see it because it's shiny and the lights. But there are little, oh, you can kind of see. There are little birds around the edge. Apparently these are plovers. And it's called a chidori pattern, I believe. Yes. A chidori pattern. Apparently it represents the ability to overcome challenges. 
I don't know about that. I just really like this bowl. And it will be a good bowl for miso soup. So that's it for this box. So now I suppose I have to talk about my favorites. My favorite savory thing. Hmm. These were a good texture, but I actually really like the ginger squid. So I'm going to say the ginger squid for my favorite savory. And my favorite sweet, there were a lot of good ones, but it's going to be the strawberry dorayaki, probably just because it surprised me so much. The texture, the flavor, the balance of flavors, everything about this was excellent. And as for things I did not like, just this thing probably. Not a fan. And everything else was good, yes. Oh, right, this thing. Also not very good, but that was just my personal preference. I don't like that spice. Why is it when there's a spice I don't like in something? That's all I can taste. It's a curse. In any case, that's it for this box. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll be back next month with two more, I hope. So I'll see you again in March.